Hey guys, it's Brandy. I wanted to come on and do a quick share. Um, I ordered some stuff and then I got some happy mail. And then um, I have a few things that I created recently that I also wanted to share. It's not a whole lot, but um, I figured I'd go ahead and share it while I'm sharing this video. So um, let's jump right in. Um, I sent uh, a lady, uh, Sarah Crafting and Relaxing. I will share the link to her channel in the description below. She is awesome. Definitely check her out. Um, I love the, um, like, it's like bash that paper or bash that stash or something like that that she's doing where she will take like something that's older that she's had in her stash for a while or like she even does this just with like a regular six by six piece of paper or a uh, stack of paper and she will make as many things as she can with it um, just to use it and create with it and have fun with it and you know kind of like clear up some of the old stuff that she has in her room um, so that she can get some new stuff but um, uh, she's super talented uh, she loves doing junk journals and stuff like that um, loves making travelers journals I think that's what she is what she calls them travel journals um, stuff like that super cool stuff so definitely check her out but um, she sent me a card I sent her one because I was thinking of her I don't have very many crafty friends um, to send like happy mail to and stuff like that so um, and I was just thinking of her because she had just lost her dog and all that stuff so um, I wanted to send her a little something to brighten her day so she sent this super cute super pretty some flowers with some gems super oh, upside, upside down uh, super cute it says spring is in the air and I love her logo. It's super cool. Crafted and relaxing. And then on the inside, she wrote me a little note. And then she included a little die cut of a birdcage. Super cute. I will definitely use this on my cards. Um, or even my scrapbook pages. But yeah, so definitely check out her channel. She is very talented. So thank you, Sarah, for the card. I loved it. Um, and then I end up ordering stuff from a lady online. Uh, she has a Facebook group, uh, Deb's Deals for Scrapbooking, and here's all the information. And I will try to link her Facebook group um, in the description down below. But she has anything for scrapbooking, stamping, uh, like anything and everything. And if you ever need something, just let her know and she will look and see if she can order something for you. But um, I also have a pre-order coming from her, but uh, she sent this to me, so definitely check her out. Again, this is her information. So uh, she sent, uh, I ordered, or she sent the stamp chamois, which I actually need a new one because mine, this is mine, right here, it's not exactly that color anymore. So she sent that. And then I ordered the Family Night collection. I ordered the 6x6 six six paper stack. Um, it comes with all these different patterns. Super cute, especially for my scrapbook layouts. I'm excited to do that or even make some mini albums with it. And then I have some ephemera that came with it. So this will be fun for like the game nights that me and my family do. So, and then here's chipboard pieces. Super fun. Ever since I've seen um, Cardabella come out with this, I wanted it, like, as soon as i seen it. But I finally, I had some birthday money, so I went ahead and ordered it from her. So, and then here is the 12 by 12 paper collection. It comes with cut aparts and a sticker sheet and 12 by 12 paper. So here's that, and then here's the awesome sticker sheet in the back. So I'm super excited to create some scrapbook layouts or mini albums with this. It's um, going to be really fun. So again, it, that's from Deb's Deals for Scrapbooking. And then I wanted to hop on and share. Um, I packaged up some bows that I created a long time ago. I used, I believe it was Elena 
Craft, or it was one of the AliExpress bows. I think it was Anna, Elena Craft bows. Um, I created some bows, so I went ahead and I packaged these up ready for uh, craft fairs or for Happy Mail, whichever. So, oh, my one bow got sideways. So I used um, some glue dots to glue them down. Uh, they are actually removable ones. I need to get smaller ones because I actually had to cut them in half in order for them to fit onto these bows because they're so tiny. But um, these are the ones that I used. But yeah, again, I need to get some smaller ones. But here's the bows. Got them all packaged. They're not exactly staying in the package exactly right. But definitely glad to get those all packaged up and everything and out of the jar that I had them in. So again, those are for like Happy Mail or for our craft fairs. We shall see. Or even on my Etsy page, I don't know. But yeah, and then I started uh, scrapbooking uh, from July 2017. Um, my mother-in-law likes to do my hair and torture me. Uh, one time, <laughs> she uh, took me to, I went to go get a haircut, and she tortured me and had me get my eyebrows uh, done for the first time I've ever had them waxed. And my eyes twitched for like ever after that and they were all red around it. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. So she likes to tor torture me, as I say. Um, but here she is doing my hair and then now she's doing my makeup because I'm not one that does my makeup or hair that often. Like I'll do my hair more. I've done my hair more lately, I think, uh, than I usually did. But makeup wise, I don't wear makeup really. Um, and then Black Pine. Um, I finally, finally found this picture. Um, it was mixed in with the stuff from here because uh, we went during July 2017. Um, so this picture got mixed up with those. So I finally found this picture. So, and Black Pine uh, is awesome. It's in Albion, Indiana. And it's a, a oh like a, oh my goodness, like a rehabilitation or a like animal sanctuary type thing where animals like retire from the circus or being a performer and stuff like that and they go there. Um, stuff like that or people, they end up taking in animals that people shouldn't have. So yeah, we went and that was a lot of fun. So I finished that up use some uh, glitter letters and the glitter falls off so what I did is I put some glossy accents over it so now the glitter won't fall off of that and then I use some um, Hobby Lobby uh, alpha stickers um, this is a strip of like paper and then some journaling cards off to the side here so simple layout so um, that is what I have to share um, I am waiting to get some new trimmer blades, um, so I can start, uh, using my paper trimmer again, because now it's starting to leave, like, a, a rough edge, so I'm gonna see, maybe I could try sharpening it, I might try doing that, but, um, I'm gonna try making some more cards, and I'm gonna start scrapbooking some more, um, I have, like, a whole stack right here that I want to scrapbook right now, um, of this, uh, day, 2017. So, um, yeah, a lot going on, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty time, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.